This is an epic Henri Pichard miniseries. Four parts. Here's the first one. Taboo American Style. <laughs> this came out in 1985. 66 minutes long. Ours is 20 minutes. That's insane. That means one third of this shot on film epic masterpiece is just straight storytelling. It's all there. It's kind of the Sutherlands versus the Chinanskis. We got whole families. This is about family. You might already know that. Glory Leonard, Paul Thomas, they're the parents. Tom Byron and Raven, they're the kids. Those are the Sutherlands. The Chinanskis are, well, first off, our Bola, Robert Kerman from Debbie Does Dallas and from Cannibal Holocaust. He's the dad of that secondary family. B plot, the Chinanskis. He is the Sutherland's handyman. That handyman has two kids, and guess what? His son is dating Raven. His daughter is dating Tom Byron. The families have melded. And you know what it is? It's soap opera. It's so soap opera. It's elevated soap opera. It is Invitation to Love. Anybody who knows what Invitation to Love is, you are my kindred spirit. We can be BFFs, but it's amazing. And it's epic. And that's why it's a mini series. This is literally the soap opera, the Invitation to Love of the adult film industry. So let's watch it. I'll be at the end as well, of course, always. I'm always talking in the front and the end. Hi, I'm Jason from Barefoot. This is Squeaky Clean Adult Films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Let's watch it. Taboo American Style Part 1. It's almost time for dinner.
with Daddy. Time for dinner. Mm. Would you like an appetizer? Mm. Okay, Jack, you can go on home now. I'll see you tomorrow. Nina, will you hold your fork properly, please? Yes, Mother. Thomas, must you eat so fast? Sorry, Mother. <laughs> He's eating fast because he has a date. Ow! Oh, and uh, with whom? I bet I know. Uh, let's see. It's either the Dumont girl or Cheryl Nelson of the New York Nelsons. I know. Neither one. I want Thomas to answer me. Thomas, put your knife and fork down this instant, please. With Lisa Janaski. Say that again? Lisa Janaski. She's my best friend at school. Common gutter trash like the Janaskis. I can't help it if they're poor. Well, let them be poor. I just don't want to hear about it. And I don't want them chasing after my only son. You know that she's only after your money. You are forbidden to go out with this Lisa Chinaski girl, and you will just have to cancel your so-called date. But, Mother, I have spoken. Well, she's already on her way over here. Her brother's dropping her off. Too bad. But, Mom, Lisa's my friend, too. If Tom can't see her, I still want to. Nina. Honey, I don't really see the harm if, if Nina sees her. This Chernasky girl is a very bad influence, Harding. Well, Mom, can I? I wonder who that is. Uh, we say excuse me around here before we leave the table. Excuse me. Yes, Mother. We know Mother. Come on, Lisa. I'll show you my new word processor. But Tom and I thought we were... we were... What's the big idea? I don't want to look at your word processor. I want to go out with your brother. Okay, Lisa. Okay, it's not that. It's just something you don't understand. Oh, darling. Don't despair. Why don't you have a nice game of Trivial Pursuit with your dad and I? Come on. Yes, Mother. It's my family. It's just that my mother has this whole image in her mind of who, I mean, of whom we should go out with. So you're saying I can't go out with your brother? Well, not exactly. And there's no sense of me hanging around here, so what do you have in mind? <laughs> okay, you have to follow my instructions exactly. Okay. Okay. First, you leave, like, in about ten minutes, okay? <laughs> you come back at 11.30 after my parents are asleep, and I'll show you a way to get into my bedroom window. And what happens if I get caught? I'll just tell my mother you decided to sleep over with me. And you won't tell? It'll be our secret. Or hide in the closet. All right, all right. Stop.
It's harmless. Yeah. Good. 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 It's a shame your brother couldn't come off. Oh, Lisa Chinaski seems like a perfectly nice girl to me. She is. Yeah. You're doing a good job there, huh? I like to help out when I can. Looking, looking good. Looking, uh... Parting! Real, real good. Keep up good work, honey. I got the second hand. You mean third hand? I'll pick you up tonight at eight. You'll be ready. I'll be home by ten. Kid, for Christ's sake, why don't you relax? Not only is she seeing this Chansky, Schmansky boy. Chinaski, they've been working for us for 15 years. I have to be home by 10. We got a whole half hour. She stays out to the last possible minute if she comes home by 10. Emily, she's 18 years old. Give her some freedom. Here's what we'll do. Do you know what's just my bedroom window? Yeah. Harding, just how much are you going to let this girl get away with? <laughs> Harding, it's 9.58. That girl is using us for every last minute we'll allow her. You're late, you know. I know. I'm sorry, Mother. Nina, come here. Give your daddy a good night kiss. Mm. Hi, Mrs. Sutherland. Hi, Lisa. I'd like to see your dad, please. Yes, ma'am. Want to come inside? Uh, no, thanks. I'll, I'll wait out here. Daddy! Yeah? Mrs. Sutherland's here to see you. Well, ask her to come in. She won't come in. Sutherland, uh, would you would you like a drink? Don't miss a Sutherland me. How dare you? I know what you're up to. You do? What? Listen, don't forget you're only the handyman and I can fire you any time I want to. You know, Emily, you are crazy. Jack, I don't think so. I think I see life pretty clearly. And I can tell when a family like yours is doing a little social climbing. Look, look, this isn't true. I hope not. But if I see your son hanging around at my house, I'm afraid I'm going to have to let you go.
Ah. Uh, are we still still on for tomorrow? Yes. Termites. And how was your day, dear? Oh, the usual. Those were so much more simpler times when things were more settled and, and one could make sense out of life and romance was within a hand's grasp. Yes, Harding, we were so happy then. Ginger, next course, please. Ginger! My mother and my father, they have no idea what they're doing. All they do is watch television. That's all they do. They watch Dallas, Dynasty, Benson, the Jeffersons, Falcon Crest. Can you believe it? Mm-hmm. So, on television, they show these families, but... It's all pretending. It's it's not real. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what my parents want from me. They want me to just pretend. To them, there is no real Nina. It's just like I'm a puppet on a string. Not me. I'm real. I'm not pretending. Emily! Emily, where are you? Emily! Emily, where are you? Over here. Emily. What's the big idea of ditching the whole day? I got something to show you. I wanted to see that new guy, Mark Friedman, in biology. Now where to? Oh, My basement? Daddy, Daddy, it's me, Nina. You have to come home right away. It's horrible. Nina, are you all right? I'm fine, Lisa. You can go on home now. You sure? Yeah. Well, I'll see you in school tomorrow. Bye. Nina, where are you? Shh. Nina, I'm home! Nina! What's the matter? What's the matter? It's horrible. It's in the basement. Are you all right? I'm fine. You sure? Thomas, you will be going off to college very soon. And Nina, you'll be staying home with me. Excuse me, please.
we found out that by lying down and relaxing the body, we can relax the mind. That way we can zero in on our patients and see what's disturbing them. I'm not disturbed. What? I'm not disturbed. Oh, I know that. Why don't you lie down? Good. Okay. Why don't we start at the beginning? Tell me what the trouble is. What's the problem? It's my husband. Why are you telling me these things, Mrs. Sutherland? Be sure to see Taboo American Style, part two of the miniseries. What'd you think? There's a lot of things I'm going to talk about. I'm going to try to do all four parts this week. That is like the most epic, hardcore, I'm going to have to, every day when I get home from work, I'm going to have to come home, write, shoot, cut, write, shoot, cut. Part two, three, or four, they're all coming out this week. The music is amazing, but it also has these amazing musical stings. And these musical stings, they tell you when the dramatic stuff is happening, as one does. Editors and composers alike, so many people involved. I got to save some stuff for two, three, and four. The therapist, if we're talking about soap operas and miniseries and epic Henri Pichard, like there's not betrayal and a therapist played by Henri Pichard. This is good. But there is betrayal and musical stings to show you about deceit. So we are PG. We are PG for this one. Actually, all four are PGs. Okay, I have to talk about, I'm gonna, uh, for this series and maybe for the entire collection of Squeaky Clean Adult Films, you know what I'm gonna do each one? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna give an award out to my favorite thing. Do you know what my favorite thing in this was? The car washing scene. It's the best car washing scene of all time. You would think stereotypes washing a car scene. Oh, is it gonna be like uh, sensual? Not really. It is not a sensual scene. It is a hilarious scene. It is such dedication to watch the way Raven oddly washes that car. It's an oddly car washing scene. It's not a sensual scene. It is bonkers. The theme song, it reminds me of, if you could encapsulate this feeling, this is what the film's going, this is what the theme song is. Driving at night, in the rain. You're not driving, you're a passenger. So you're riding at night, in the rain. Let's say Ypsilanti, they just call it Ipsy. So we're in Michigan, but you can be wherever, okay? You go to your place. You're an Ipsy. It's raining, there's, you know, reflections off of everything. Probably the 80s. But it could be any time. You could be listening to an oldie station. This theme song is riding in a car at night. In the rain. Thank you for watching. We have a PayPal button if you want to donate. I don't know. I don't want to talk about money. Let's talk about art. See you soon.